Hi everyone, it's Rosemary here with 505 Crafts here on YouTube and I wanted to share with you guys another project I just finished, um, actually two, and this is for a friend on the craft hall. I wanted to send her a little thank you for everything she does. She's a sweetheart and I don't want to give away her name in case she sees the video. So I use um, some of these Tim Holtz little pins here. And then she really liked this trim, and that just might give it away. <laughs> and then on the side, it's really little, it's only about two inches tall. I put some a different little bling. I got this from Miriam's Crafting Supply, also the, the hot air balloon. These are from Zibit, and then these are from Michaels, along with this. And I just tied a little bow there because it's so tiny I needed to do something cute so the reason why I put those there is because I, I saw the idea from one of the girls on the craft hole and I wanted to make it look like the little goggles or spectacles or whatever those are called I'm just trying to get them closer but what I filled them up with on the inside on the material I just added Wink of Stella and look how fine it looks it's, it's a lot thinner than stickles and I've showed you guys before it's from Zig. So what you do is you end up squeezing everything to the bottom. I'm not going to squeeze any now. You shake it up and then it has this really fine tip. And then you just go in there. And that's what that does. And it adds just a little great little sparkle. So what I use to cover this instead of paper, I used a piece of material. Um, one of my friends, Sandy, gave this to me, and um, I thought it was a fantastic idea. I, sh I showed her how to make these, and um, she was doing the same thing, and I said, oh, that would be great. And so that's what I covered it in. Uh, she got it from uh, Walmart. So there you go. And the bottom is covered as well. And so let me show you my next project. Um, it's a Pinterest challenge for this uh the the craft hole and it's also my swap partners um we're doing a swap for uh altered matchbox <laughs> i can't dog i'm so tired i need to go to bed and so i saw this on pinterest and our new thing is is that we're gonna do different things that we see on pinterest and then just change them up and so we're doing that type of challenge every month so I thought, mm, two in one. So these are those little Tim Holtz little things, but I changed them out for some jump rings because these little rings were too big on the other ones, and they weren't letting the drawers close. So I added those, two matchboxes stacked and glued, and then wrapped around some paper. I altered it with black and brown and just like messy to make it really vintagey. Then my grandmother crocheted this little doily, all cute. And I made a little um, envelope and I just uh, cut out something from a, a book. And then it, I actually found something that had said heart on it or something. So I just drew in a little um, hearts and put XOXO in the same thing. I just used that Wink of Stella just on this one. And then on the tips of the flowers just to give a little bit more of a look. So... I love this Wink of Stella, as you can tell. I love that it gives just a, a really fine little sparkle, and I love it so much. And so, um, also this little mirror is a real mirror. It's so cute. And then, um, this is from Michaels. I got this in the bead section. There's a little section that has these and a bunch of little stuff, and you'll see the next little things that I'm going to bring up. Then I used some, in that same section, these bead caps, and I just added a little bit of gold to it to make it look a little bit worn. And then in the inside, excuse my nails and my hands from coloring the flowers, they were pink, so I had to alter those. Oh, and then this little terracotta ball, isn't that cute? That's from Michaels as well, it came with like a set of six, and this is from Zibit. I'm lucky my grandma um, crochets for me all the time, little stuff, so I'm really happy about that. 
So the drawers are covered in this paper and it's one of the Walmart paper lines. And um, when you wrap around your paper, just be careful because it tightens your drawers and that's exactly what happened. So they're both lined. On the bottom one, I'm adding another homemade doily from my grandmother. Actually two. And then from that same um, beading section, I have this little cutlery set just to add some little yummies for my swap partner. So that's going on the bottom. Whoops, get in there. You're going to another home. Be good. And then on the top, I'm going to put some of these little clothespins. They're the Tim Holtz ones. And then I'm going to put, I'm going to put this down. I made a little book. And I saw this on YouTube somewhere. Sorry, I'm out of focus. I'm at a weird angle. And what she did is she had said, don't cut your scraps from your books and stuff or your uh, dictionaries. Get them together, cut out your size, you know, fold them in half, and then um, just add one little, whoops, one little staple uh, to glue that. And so I altered the edges, covered the book, and then put a, around like a little binding. So isn't that cute? It's really little, about one inch. It's so little. So um, that's going to go in the drawer as well. And on the bottom, I just put Happy Valentine's Day, XOXO, Rosemary, and then I just glued on Made With Love. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please comment, subscribe, and have a good night. Bye-bye.